A high value man will rarely chase women. Instead of focusing on landing a high value man, become a high value woman. You attract what you are. Nothing's more off-putting than a woman who goes overboard with her attempt to impress a man. Have some respect for yourself. <laughs> I'm saying, it's just the truth. Now that we know what the traits of a high-value woman and high-value man are, it's now time to know how to attract a high-value man. You know, Dating can be a tricky business these days, right? It seems like everyone has their own idea about what works and what doesn't work. And when it comes to dating high value men, things can get pretty much complicated. Now, here's the thing. Women are used to being pursued. They hardly have to face the uncertainty that men go through to get a woman that they are interested in. But sometimes, most of these men running after these ladies are not high value. <laughs> I'm saying it's just the truth. A high value man will rarely chase women. But he's the kind of man most women want. And since most women are not used to being the one to make the first move, getting a high value man can be tricky. So here are some of the ways to help you um, get a high value man to face in your direction. Now, you need to figure out just what makes him tick. Sure, showing interest in the things that matters to him is a great way to connect with him. But there is more to it than just trying to understand the male brain. So the real thing that attracts such a man should be pretty obvious. And they are number one. You attract what you are. You can't give what you don't have. So you want a high value man, then be a high value woman. It's as simple as that. If you don't think that you're valuable enough, chances are that he wouldn't even think that you're a high value woman. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to be perfect or you have to earn six figures, but it does mean that you need to know your value and realize what makes you an amazing woman. You need to work on yourself, develop your interests, build your confidence and improve your communication skills. Because high value men and high value women are two peas in a pod. Mm? So to attract a good man, you must embody the same exact traits that you want to have in your partner. So when a man sees that you're unapologetically enjoying your life, he can't help but be drawn in by your magnetism. So instead of focusing on landing a high value man, become a high value woman. And it becomes easy as those high value men are going to flock to you. It's easy, simple as ABC. Number two, be a challenge. Men love a good chase. The more challenged a man feels, the more interested in you he will become. So if a man doesn't feel like you're going to be an easy catch, they will want to make it worth their while when they do finally get your attention. So don't show all of your cards. I know we make this mistake all the time, but we can, re we can correct that. All right, keep some mystery around you by not telling him all of your thoughts and feelings. Make him work for it, which will make him value you more. This will invariably keep you from wasting time on someone who is just using you and taking advantage of you. But don't play hard to get too much because this might push him away forever. You don't want to give him a reason not to fight for you. Keep a good balance where he feels challenged, but not so much that he completely is turned off by it. Number three, show interest in his life and listen attentively because high value men are attracted to someone highly motivated, someone who is highly concentrated and has a growth mindset. To put it in another perspective, he doesn't want his companion to stifle his progress. Rather, he will be on the lookout for someone with whom he can share his growth with. So indeed, if your abilities complement his and he complements yours, he will want to explore your dynamics because he sees the value in it. But then again, show interest and let him know that you're always on his side, okay? Number four, you need to create the right dynamics, all right? One of the best ways to make a man respect you is to let him know that his flaws are a deal breaker for you, even if they aren't for other women. 
Be bold, be assertive, be brave, and speak your damn mind, whether they leave or they stay. Let him know that there are things that you don't like about him, and they make you want to back right off. Don't make excuses for him or try to get his attention by being overly nice. He will know that you're putting on a front, and it won't work. Men love a challenge, and if you let him know that he will have to work hard for your affection, he would respect you even more. Because these men, they take advantage of women, easy women. Number five, don't try to impress. Nothing's more off-putting than a woman who goes overboard with her attempt to impress a man by acting overly keen and nice and desperate. You put yourself at his mercy. You run the risk of looking like a needy, desperate girl. It might seem like playing hard to get will hold you back from finding love, but trust me, it's a great way to let a man know that you are a catch and you're worth the wait. And even if you have to go on a few bad dates to find him, it is better than settling and ending up with a douchebag or with someone who, who doesn't respect you, okay? Have some respect for yourself. Number six, don't be afraid to be yourself. Let your personality shine. See, the art of being yourself is a time-tested piece of advice for a reason. It's probably the best piece of advice you will ever have to get for yourself. I know it's simple and cliche, but it still rings true. Being true to yourself means being honest with yourself, being an honest person who follows a set of moral and values. You being genuine and authentic gets the right man to appreciate you for who you are. Number seven, if you want to attract a high value man, you've got to know your worth. And you're not willing to settle for anything less. That's the mentality that you carry. Because every woman's dreams of having a high value man in her own life is one that carries the shape of someone who knows how to keep her happy. And please, when you're dating, remember not to put your eggs in one basket. Cast your nets wide and be open to meeting new sets of alpha males because these kind of men have girls flocking around them like bees. And so they often time waste time in making, you know, a peak, thereby keeping you waiting or even giving you crumbs, bread crumbing you of their love, all right? Also, remember that you can always walk away from someone who doesn't deserve your love. Most importantly, it is clear why you would find a high-value guy desirable, but don't lose sight of the fact that many men who seem like they are high status are narcissists, all right? So your goal shouldn't be to land the finest man on paper, but to pay attention to how you feel in the relationship with him and how he treats you. It's far more important to be in a safe, easy partnership than to be with a guy who checks all the boxes on your list, okay? Number eight, don't be blind to reality. Try to see it. You must realize that no one person would be able to fulfill all of your needs and desires. And by recognizing that he won't fill every gap in your life, you will be able to see that you have a life outside your relationship with him. Too often time, women tie themselves down, building a bubble around the man. So much so that once that bubble is busted, they become hopeless. You don't want to be that type of woman. And of course, this will make you more secure in your relationship and less clingy, which will make you a much better partner for a man who deserves it. So give yourself some time away from him so that you can maintain your own lifestyle with your friends, your interests, your career. And trust me, the relationship will be a lot more better because you respect yourself enough to understand that he can't feel every gap in your relationship, every gap in your life. He can't fulfill all of your needs, all right? Number nine, to, to, to catch a high value guy, you don't chase. See, I always make this a compulsory thing for women to learn when you're dating cause it lowers your self-esteem. It lowers your value when you do chase. And we've all been there, let's not lie. We want to be in a relationship with a man. So we start chasing them in the hopes that they finally would notice us. The problem is this, when you chase a man, it makes him think less of you. If he's interested, he will come to you. If not, let him fucking go and move 
the hell on to someone else who will appreciate you more. However, this doesn't mean that you shouldn't try to make things work with someone that you're interested in. But it does mean that you shouldn't be calling him 20 times a day or driving past his house on, you know, the off chance of seeing him. Make yourself look busy or stay busy with work. Act like you care, but not be desperate. You will get far more attention this way than if you did the opposite. Number 10, the importance of self-respect. You know, self-respect is vital to attract other high-value men. It's even more important if you want him to remain interested in you. It's good if he respects and loves you, right? But it's also good if you respect and love yourself. <laughs> so self-respect will make sure that he will never make you feel like you're unworthy or not good enough for him because you already know how amazing you are. The way you carry yourself will make him want to prove himself and show you if he's up to your high standards. All right, so never you water down your high standards. Never. Number 11, don't try to change yourself for no bloody person. All right, I mean it. Now, it might seem like a good idea to change yourself to keep a man, but it will do more harm than good in the long run. See, when you try to become someone else for someone else's benefit, they will get bored of you. So changing yourself for someone else is a bad idea. Bad idea. First of all, it shows that you're not sure of who you are. Secondly, it shows neediness. It shows des desperation to hold on to something that is not stable and they will feel like you're ready to do anything just to keep them but when you stay true to your value your beliefs it makes you even more attractive if he does love the person you are then he will be happier because of it okay if not move along move to the side we don't care okay so here's the final truth i need you to know that men are not complicated nor are they hard to understand we're all human beings after all with unique qualities right just like women men have feelings jealousy insecurities and guilt you know and of course there's no denying the fact that men can be relationship oriented but still not want to marry you they can say i love you and discover after some time that they don't want to spend their lives with you and it's it's not such a bad thing it's 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 grace for you because you're not ending up with someone who is going to frustrate your life all right see each man is you a unique individual so instead of focusing on the differences between men focus on yourself first understand what you bring to the table know your strength and leverage on them Every woman deserves to find the man of her dream. And if you want to attract high value men who are looking for commitment, it is important that you first take some time and invest in yourself. Okay? I hope this meets you at a very good time and you understood everything that I said here and you're going to take them and make them your own. Until I come your way, know that I love you. Goodbye.